Yo, what's going on guys? So I wasn't planning on uploading today. I was actually editing the apartment tour, which is coming soon, by the way. That was until I went over to the store, not this bundle. I scrolled down and you find this, the spare ribs bundle. <laughs> now I saw this leaked a while ago. I didn't know when it was coming out, but this bundle is insane. So it comes with two blueprints, which are very unique, as you guys can see. And that's because they are fully see-through. We did have a similar one in the past but it wasn't as crazy as this one this one is completely see-through and apparently hear me out apparently when you put camos on top of it it doesn't cover the whole gun it changes the bones inside hold up so you could put on an interstellar skeleton through the gun we've got to check this out <laughs> As usual, all I ask is that you guys drop a like on a video. Surely that's fair, right? Oh my good. Look at this. It's completely see-through. So this is obviously it with no camo on it. And this is... Bro, this might be the best bundle ever. Genuinely might be the best... Okay, I can't see the iron sights though. <laughs> Let's hop into a game, see it in some good lighting, and then I also want to see it with some camos on top of it too. All right, you guys already know the vibes. We need to get outside first before we look at it. We need to give it some respect. Get it in front of some sunlight. Here we go. Oh Ew! my goodness. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Wait, no, no, bro. None of these guys respect the hustle. Oh, bro. Bro, are you flipping serious? Bro, bro, I can't get outside. Come on, bro. Please, please, please bro. I literally just want to look at the gun and they will not let me. Okay, we're outside. Look at this. It's completely see-through. This is the most insane thing ever. And this is it without a camo, of course. So it gets even crazier than this. This genuinely might have to be my favorite blueprint in this game. It has to be. And there's also another one for the Milano. No, it's not called the Milano in this game. Whatever SMG it is, we're also trying that too. But this is beautiful, man. See, I love when they do stuff like this. Like I said, we've already had a bundle very similar to this one. It wasn't quite the same though, because rather than being completely clear, it had that blue tint to it. So it wasn't all the way see-through. This one is, and I think that's why this isn't the sequel to that bundle. It's its own completely separate bundle. Come on, we need to flank around their side so we can get these outside spawns. Oh. Damn. Oh, we're spawning outside now. Oh yeah, this is fire. This is what we want. There we go. So a little sneak peek. I was actually playing Black Ops 4 again today, finally. So this game feels weird to me. Bro, it's so weird when you're outside because you can hardly see the iron sights. Oh my. Bro, I'm missing easy shot. Wait, what am I getting shot by? Oh, they've got a heli. Anyway, here it is with the gold camo on it. And look what it does. It changes the actual skeleton inside to gold. Bro, come on, please, 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 please. It changes the actual skeleton to gold and the muzzle, but mainly the skeleton. That is so sick. <laughs> Listen, man, I know we complain a lot about this game, but there are things that are really cool about it. We have to say that. Like if this bundle came out on Black Ops 4, for example, or Black Ops 3, people would look back and praise them for adding something like this. So let's be respectful. This is a great addition to the game. Talking about this game, there's been a bunch of stuff going on today in regards to season two. So a couple of streamers have been sent out a crate and the crate has a piece of Fortune's Keep on it. So it's basically revealing separate parts of Fortune's Keep and you may be wondering, wait, I swear we've already had Fortune's Keep. Why would they need to reveal any of the areas? It turns out Fortune's Keep is not going to be exactly the same as it was when we had it in the past. Apparently, some of the areas, some of the POIs are going to have some changes to them. I don't know how drastic they're going to be, but I know some of the areas have a huge crack down the middle of them. Like, what the? Ah, hey! Yo! Some of the areas have a massive crack down the middle like there was an earthquake or something. So that's going to be interesting. But that also makes me think about Rebirth Island because they announced Fortune's Keep and Rebirth Island are of course coming back. Fortune's Keep is supposed to come out with season two, whether it's at the start of it or in the reloaded update. I really hope it's the start of it, by the way. But it makes me think if they're making changes to Fortune's Keep, they're probably also going to make changes to Rebirth Island. So I'm just hoping that the changes are not too drastic. They can change the look of some of the builds and stuff like that but the actual dynamic and flow of the map cannot be changed and that's one thing that needs to be true can you imagine the whole flow of rebirth island is completely changed i'll be so upset Woo! Oh, look at these iron sights do you know how insane this is 
Oh, bro. Okay, Overwatch Hilo. I'm stuck here, though. Oh, and stunned. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Oh, and a need? Yeah. <laughs> that was... Yo! Well, here it is. Hold up with the priceless camo. Look at that. We've got a whole priceless skeleton inside our gun. This is so unique, bro. Let me know how you guys feel about the idea of Rebirth Island being slightly changed. I doubt they would make some crazy changes to it, but it could definitely make some, you know, different buildings and stuff like that still in the same places. I'm not sure if you guys know, at the start of Rebirth Island on Cold War or during Cold War, you know, when it was first released into Warzone, Control Center wasn't actually there. If I'm remembering correctly, it was a totally different building. But then what they did was they changed it and they added a new building there. It still had the same flow because it was in the same position as whatever was there beforehand, but still different. That, I don't mind that. They can make changes like that for sure. And I assume that's what they're going to do. I highly doubt they add it exactly how we had it before. One thing you have got to think about is it is Rebirth Island. So that means it is Alcatraz, which also means they are kind of limited to how much they can change it, which is a good thing. Since it's based on a real place. By the way, on one of the COD trips, they flew us out to San Francisco. Francisco and he took us on a boat trip around Alcatraz and it was literally identical. I'm talking about even the steps, everything. It was actually kind of weird how one-to-one -one it was. But anyway, we've got the SMG right here. It's for the WSP. Now this actually has Interstellar on it, which is kind of disappointing because it has like the inverted Interstellar on it, which is kind of annoying. So the skeleton is all black. I'm going to see if that's the same on the other weapon too, but yeah. And by the way, we spawned on this side of invasion, which means it's going to be a little bit difficult for us. Oh wait, no, you can actually see Interstellar on this one. Hardly, but you can. See, the reason why I like this blueprint so much is because a lot of the time, when you get blueprints in these games, you throw camos on top of them, you see what it does, and you don't know whether it was intentional or not. But this, being a see-through weapon and a camo only attaching to the skeleton has to be intentional. What's that guy doing? So this is, oh, this one looks good. So this is zombies gold. That looks fire. Oh, nah, you can fully see it too. Bro, I hate this spawn, man. You just spawn so far back. Wait, wait, what was that spot? I did not know about that. No! And then here's Serpent tonight, the green zombies camo, which looks pretty cool too. Yeah, these are definitely just like a fun blueprint to use. You should probably throw on a red dot though, because unless you're just trying to mess around, these iron sights kind of put you at a disadvantage. Bro, I can't get out of spawn. I spawn all the way back here every single time. Uh, it doesn't help that I was playing Black Ops 4 all day. These games are so different. It's insane. I was playing on console FOV. I'm all thrown off right now. Hold on. This one might be good. Here it is with Borealis. Oh, yeah. This one's clean. I like that. Yeah, I can't lie. This is a W edition. Huh? Bro, where? Where did I just get shot from? Yeah, look at this. I found a bright map and just look at how sick this is, man. I'm really excited for season two. I really hope they bring a bunch of stuff that we can grind. I'm excited to see what they do for zombies because I feel like zombies hasn't seen much content in quite a long time. I don't know how much more content we are going to see for zombies. But yeah, man, I really wish I could play more of that because I was enjoying it when there was a bunch to grind. Okay, I can get up here. Okay, I just can't get up there. Great. Hold up. Get you. Right, how are we supposed to play this map when there's just people sniping? Honestly, this map reminds me the most of the OG Modern Warfare 2 experience because that's how people used to play it back in the day. People would just sit back with snipers. Oh my, bro, this guy. And literally just hold their point. Bro, bro, there's nothing I can do. They've all got them. They've all, this guy's got a red dot sniper. Anyway, that's definitely me done with Modern Warfare 3 today. I just really wanted to check out that new bundle. But what we should do is actually look at it with a bunch of the other camos. People always get mad at me for certain camos that I don't check it out on. So if we go over to special, this is how it looks with all of the special camos. Of course, I've got the CDL camos now too. But I've also got some pretty cool ones in here like this Royalty Tiger one. That looks sick. Actually, let me see this oh my goodness no way yeah there's some hidden gems in here that look really good on this gun oh yeah if we go over to the events camos that's how it looks with some of them on there decent nothing too oh that one looks good i should 
See, this is the one. <laughs> yeah, that looks sick. Look at it. It's fully moving in there too. Yeah, this is cool. I like that one. But yeah, man, pretty cool bundle. That just shows it doesn't always have to be a Mastercraft or an insane blueprint that has some crazy stuff all over it. It can be simple like this. See through. <laughs> Hopefully this is a series of bundles so we get more guns like this. But yeah, man, thanks for watching. Like I mentioned earlier, the apartment tour will be coming soon. I've been working on it. Got a bunch of it done. And then also the Black Ops 4 series, I recorded that video today. So that should be out sometime soon as well. But we've got season two in eight days, apparently. So I'm looking forward to that. We've got a bunch of stuff coming, man. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.